Hey good people, it's CC Devereaux and I wanted to share with you guys how I maintain these brows of mine. No shaving, no threading, no waxing. You can do it at home, it's simple. In about five to seven minutes, you're done. I usually prefer to get it threaded, but in the times where I can't, even before the pandemic, I've been doing this method for years and it works time and time again. It's cost effective and it lasts. So I wanted to share with you guys in case maybe you'd be interested in trying it out. So yeah. All right, let me show you guys. So if you're using Nair, stop. <laughs> Do not use Nair on your face. It's super harsh. It's bad for your skin, your facial skin. Like it's, it's, not, it's not nice. It can burn it off really badly. I used Nair in college for the first time on my eyebrows. And when I tell you it was painful, never again, never, ever again. After that, I would get my eyebrows waxed all the time but they would always grow back so fast. And I never wanted to use razors on my eyebrows because I heard so many horror stories about the aftermath of what that looks like over time. The product that I use is called Magic. Designated for men with coarse beards to help remove their facial hair without causing razor bumps. If it's safe enough for their face, then it should be safe enough for mine. Now I will say that this product you wanna test it out as well. You testing out a very small section before you use this completely. You don't wanna use any products before this, no acne medication, nothing. You want clear skin. The one that I use is the Extra Strength. It, looks in, it comes in the red, but they also have the regular strength, which comes in blue. I would suggest starting with this first to make sure that your face can tolerate it. It's not, it's nowhere near as harsh as Nair, but you don't know how your skin will react to certain products. So while this may work for me and my skin, maybe my skin is tougher than yours. <laughs> maybe, you know what I mean? Like you never know. So just test out a small amount and start with the regular strength before you move on up to the extra strength, so. They both work. I just find that with the extra strength, I don't have to leave this one on as long as I do with this one. This one I have to leave on about seven to 10 minutes before it takes the hair off, but this comes off in four to five minutes. So I stick to the extra strength. All right, so for my eyebrows to apply, I use Q-tips just to make sure that I'm really precise. I go on top, underneath, and I catch this little caterpillar unibrow situation that I got. I catch that too. And for my upper lip, I just use my finger most of the time. I just smear that bad boy on. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Use about that much. Brush it on gently. In the shape that I want to carve out my arch. That's it. Okay, so first I start by brushing this off up and out the way and then putting on the cream and don't worry if you get it on a section where you don't want the hair to be removed it's okay as soon as you do it if, as long as you do it quickly you shouldn't have any issues and I'll come up top. You know, y'all, I'm hairy. <laughs> and if I look a bit like I'm glistening, I just got out the shower, so please excuse me. And I put on a generous amount. And guys, I just carve it out. Just carve it out. Make sure your hands are clean, guys.
I like to get the whole area. That's cute, huh? <laughs> I let this sit for four to five minutes. I make sure that I stick to that exact amount because I don't want to overdo it or burn my skin. So I pay attention to the clock. It doesn't smell the best. <laughs> it has a very similar smell to Nair. It's not, it's like that eggy, that eggy scent it doesn't smell good. Well, it's time to take it off. The hair should be like really straight. All right, it's been about four minutes, four to five minutes. We're now gonna wash this off using cool water. Just gonna use a regular washcloth, rinse this off. Sometimes I go against the hair, sometimes I go with it. Uh, it comes off either way, so. We're just gonna rub that. You don't wanna be too rough. We're just gonna keep taking it off. See that, how smooth that is? Ooh. That's better, you can see. Look at all that hair. Oh my God, I'm hairy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is coming off so smooth, you guys. So smooth. Okay, for the stash, I like to go up and over to the middle. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I like to go against the hair with the, with the upper lip. Not too rough, guys. You don't wanna be too rough with your skin, but you wanna put enough force underneath. And that is it guys. I don't recommend washing your face right after this. I washed my face beforehand. So yeah guys, I am now hairless. I like to take the cool cloth, I like to run it through the cold water. Just hit those areas. And it soothes it. but it's nowhere near as harsh as Nair. I can testify to that. <laughs> Having used both, now my makeup will go on better. I don't have to do a whole lot for my eyebrows to try to conceal them to make them look good. You can use your moisturizer after you're done. I just wouldn't use anything harsh afterwards. Go ahead and put my retinol anti-aging because you know black, black does crack. I ain't got enough black, not to crack. But uh, <laughs> put your moisturizer on, go about your day. If you wanted to put on makeup, you can, but I would definitely suggest using a primer. If you don't, definitely use a primer um, just to keep your skin from getting irritated. That's it, guys. So I hope that was helpful. Again, please be careful with this, you guys. It's made for the face, but you don't know how it will react to your face. So please be careful. I don't want to hear y'all say, Cece, my face is real. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I've been using this for years, years, guys. Way before this pandemic, before we couldn't go to our favorite eyebrow threader. I have been doing this for years. So it works for me. Hopefully this can be helpful to some someone else out there. All right, good people, that's the end of this video. I'm gonna go get dressed. 